Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, welcome. It is so nice of you to join us. Uh, I am Sue and I like to build stuff in The Sims 4. Just a heads up, I rarely make any sense in my voiceover, so if you do stick around, thank you very much for that. And before we start on this build, uh, this is going to be on the longer sides of video, uh, on the longer side of videos. So get comfortable, get your coffee, get your tea, whatever you like. I already have my coffee with me, and let's get to it. About this build, a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a little bit more than that, I was uh, going to visit my cousin. Uh, he lived in a town not far away from mine, but I had never visited there before. And honestly, it was one of the most gorgeous towns I have ever seen in my country. It is uh, sort of the mix between all the modern and the new. Like, there were some old and traditional buildings, but there was this one row of houses that like, it captured my attention. It is four or five houses and they had the most simple and basic shape but they were so elegant so modern if you know anything about me you know that i am a sucker for modern build so basically this house is heavily based and inspired by the facade of one of the houses this is going to be a uh, part one of three i think I called the house Residence 2110 because I'm launching the video in October of 2021. Yeah, I wasn't very creative with the name of the place, but it makes sense because I am building it in Newcrest. You know, the part of Newcrest where there is uh, four five lots I think next to each other like in a row so I called the entire series the row residence whatever the month is with the year so yeah not very creative but it makes sense for me um, so as I said basically this is inspired by the facade of one of the houses I saw when I got back from my visit I directly started sketching some designs uh, I drafted up a um, um, floor plan so this is why the build is kind of coming up like fairly quickly because I already had the plan for it it turned out to be a big build um, three bedrooms with ensuite each a half bath on the downstairs like a guest bathroom or something um, two living rooms one formal one and one family living room the formal one is on the downstairs and the formal living room is on the upstairs and there's an office uh, a backyard like a fairly generous backyard the the exterior of the build wasn't very hard to come up with however the furnishing of the build was kind of hard to do because let me tell you something if you don't know this about me, I'm an architecture student. I'm a second year architecture student. So during one of my, our projects, we were supposed to be designing a bedroom. Um, if they didn't say what style they wanted the bedroom in, like our professors or anything, but we were supposed to design it, not just decorated like safe furniture or something. We were supposed to design it, like actually construct the bedroom and furnish it with a design a full ceiling design lighting and everything else so when uh, it was time for me to correct my first draft my professor actually liked the draft i did for the floor plan and the furniture and everything but then she said something that at first i didn't quite understand what she said and you'll know why in a second so she said now you're done with the actual design for the furnishing part you have to choose sexy furniture and she stressed the word sexy furniture like at first i didn't understand what she meant because my brain understands that sexy is an adjective you say about a person like a girl a woman 
a man or something. This is my brain. This is what my brain understands. But she said on sexy furniture. So I went into research. And that's when I understood what she meant by sexy furniture. Like sexy furniture is statement pieces. It is uh, pieces that like when you see them, they strike a chord. They, you would look at them and you would just be thinking like, why aren't they speaking to me? Because that's how much of an effect they would have on a person. Like for example, the Barcelona chair. The Barcelona chair has its own pavilion in Barcelona. So this is a statement piece. This is what she meant by sexy furniture. So I went to the dark side and I downloaded a ton, and I mean like a, a heavy ton of CC. Because when I was starting to furnish the build from items in game, I started at first using wall coverings, uh, windows, doors, and everything. I cut all of that out from the speed build because it would have been like an hour long. But when I started furnishing, like the items in the game, it used to be the items of the game, I don't want to be like a negative Nancy or something, but recently the items in the game have been have been becoming like extremely well made, like serious um, artistry is going into the designs that the team is coming up with, but still they are missing something, or at least the packs that I have are missing the stuff that I need. So I went and downloaded every single piece made by Hey Harry and Felix Andre. Like, Hey Harry and Felix Andre, if you are listening to this, I doubt that you are listening to this, but in case you are listening to this, thank you. Thank you for bringing those pieces to the game. Thank you for, thank you for all the energy, power, effort, creativeness, everything that you put into designing your pieces. Seriously, thank you. I will have uh, their website, it's House of Harlix. I will have it linked in the description box. I will also have both their Patreon linked in the description box down below. If you have money to spare, I would really advise you to become patrons of theirs because honestly, their content is so amazing. If you look at the items they are making, like every single piece of furniture used in this build is made by them. So if you look at the items, you would really think that the items were made by Maxis. However, they were made by custom content creators. Uh, there's, their furniture, their pieces are actually based on IRL, designer pieces and design. So, um, but still, wow, that's all I can say. Like for example, this console table I'm using, it's not console table, actually it is supposed to be counters. Uh, these are from the Brutalist, I think it's the Brutalist or Brownstone, I forgot, I forgot honestly which piece is made, uh, is uh, from which pack. This is why I will have everything linked down below. So the console piece I use, it is three pieces, it is supposed to be um, like uh, La Pièce de Résistance. Uh, of a kitchen. However, I sized it down once and used it as a console because honestly, it, it is so it is so beautiful that it has to be in the entrance. That's what I thought. So yeah, and also the mirror that I use, it is like a smoky mirror or something. It is so amazing. And this rug that you see now in the living room. I honestly use this rug all over this build. Every single room has this rug except for the room, uh, up, uh, except for the master suite. That's the only room that doesn't have this rug. Every single room has this rug. Uh, this is the kitchen. I'm just placing clutter around in the kitchen. Uh, the, the part that is a wooden bench with a couple of like shelf thingies, boxes or something, those are cabinets that were supposed to be on the top in a kitchen, but I use them uh, down at the bottom because it, for the longest time it was bugging me that the oven was not centered with the sink and the island. And 
I just wanted something to like bring balance to the whole thing and I came up with the idea of using these and placing uh, glass wall divide glass divi room divide glass room dividers to make them look like slidey doors for cabinets. I used cabinets all throughout this build. I don't think that Felix and Harry have the like made these pieces to be used other than cabinets but I use them everywhere like for example the bookcase or backdrop or anything that you see that you saw in this office it is also made by cabinets uh, also the desk is not a desk the desk is actually two pieces a counter piece and a dining room table but I love this and I want this in my house I'm actually designing my own apartment which by the way I will have a card or a video somewhere around the screen right now I will have uh, I will have a link to the video where I explain about the challenge for designing my apartment because actually it's under construction now and I need help because I cannot for the life of me figure out how to come up with a floor plan so I will have it linked if you want to take on the challenge I'll be touring the apartments on my channel if there's enough entries or something so i hope you can help me with it we are now at the garage so the garage in, in the actual build was kind of like a two-part garage or something i i didn't quite understand how it worked but it had like this electrical gate that opens up you then drive your car and you another like the garage door opens up and you would go with your car inside and park the car inside this is what i tried to make using the wall dividers wooden wall dividers on the outside but we are going to pretend that these are electrical uh, fence thingies or gate thingies that once the car comes near them they open up and then you go in so this is my mindset regarding the gates that I placed on the outside of the garage. I also used the huge doors that came with Mount Komorebi. Uh, what's the pack? It's Snowy Escape. Uh, the huge doors that came with Snowy Escape because I don't know why they give me garage <laughs> door vibes. I don't know. Uh, this is um, off the garage, right off the garage we have like a small um, passageway. I placed the laundry machines over there with the laundry line on the outside of the build. And on the other side there are the stairs that take you to the top floor. Now I did place a door on the inside. So in my own gameplay I don't like neighbors who just come and never leave to go into bedrooms, go into offices, anywhere that has a computer or has anything that might make them go in. So I like to lock doors and I find it easier to look like one or two doors rather than to lock all the doors in the, in the house. This is why I did this kind of thing. Um, I don't know if it uh, makes any difference or if it doesn't make any difference. Um, I hope it does. Uh, this is the WC or guest bathroom. It is very simple, just some shelves, a sink, a cabinet, and a toilet seat. So that's basically. But there's this really annoying glitch in The Sims at the moment, where anytime you build a wall or you uh, place wall covering on a wall, like color a wall or something, and anytime you uh, load actually a build for something stuff just gets disappeared like either they go into your household inventory or they just like literally disappear it's a, it's a very annoying glitch and i hope the team fixes it soon because it's a known glitch it's uh, everybody on the forums is talking about it but still this is the family living room like the tv room this couch, this couch, I want this couch in my house. I want to crawl up with a book, a hot cup of coffee, and never leave this couch. 
it's it is seriously like seriously well done they were on point it is actually a real sofa so they did a very good job with it and i just want it in my life this is another way of using cabinets and uh, shelves that were supposed to be in the kitchen but they're not in the kitchen they are in my living room and uh, i use them to make like a tv tv unit or something and to place some clutter objects and stuff and this lindsay player is also custom content it's not in the game it is made by um i forgot which part. i think it's the jardin pack from house of harlot i think it is that one but uh, honestly i like it better than the, the actual lindsay the one in the game so yeah and i mixed and matched a lot of the cabinets together because unlike in the sims game their swatches match perfectly so this is why i was able to mix and match a lot of shelves a lot of cabinets um because they have uh, the same palette for all their colors and uh, and they just go well together there is i didn't use just one stone of wood i actually mixed also stones of wood but in my opinion they go together like fairly well i don't know if you guys have the same opinion if you don't have the same opinion please let me know down below we are now in the master suite uh i am using also cabinets to make a, a wardrobe and I used the uh, uh, hanging clothes that came with Dream Home Decorator to make the actual closet thingy. And uh, I did close it off with the uh, room dividers, with the wooden room dividers, but I did play test it and it works perfectly well. It's not the, uh, the first time I do it. So uh, if you're playing with this, it works for actually the whole build is play tested. And the way I do, uh, I play test my build is that i log out of the game and then i log back in without having move objects on and play test every single thing uh, and everything works perfectly well except for the uh, closet in the teenage girl's bedroom because i closed it off like completely closed it off with a room divider but that's because i like how it looks closed off but throughout the whole build there's a lot of places where your sims can change their clothes like there's another wardrobe in the toddler's bedroom also there are all the mirrors like if you click on any mirror in the game you could uh, choose the option to change outfit or even even if you don't have any mirrors you can actually click on your sim and have them change outfit like there's this command that you get to change the outfit uh, also i did use a little bit of tool mod in this build because i wanted like clean edges to close off uh, spaces like the box you saw me do just a second ago in the master suite i didn't want just two shelves floating i wanted it to look like a box this is why i did that and I placed a tub in the bedroom. I know it's in the bedroom. I know it's like looking out a window. But come on, who doesn't want to sit in a tub, relax in a tub, and just look at a nice view, right? I'm not the only one, right? Yes. Plus, I did uh, close off like the exterior of the windows with the uh, wall dividers. So they do give off some privacy. And we are going to pretend that the windows are tinted and you can see from the inside but, but nobody from the outside can see you so yes uh, this is the only ba bathroom you're gonna see me um, decorate in this uh, this video because honestly i had to cut a lot of footage out because the the video would have been like 40 or 45 minutes long like before screenshots it's about 24 25 minutes 
and this is why I didn't put everything. I tried to minimize the footage as much as I can. This is the toddler's bedroom, and I used the the tent from the Tiny Traveler's uh, pack from House of Harley, because, as Harry said, every child needs a tent. So this is why I used it. And I know that... No, it's not that I know. So the window that is, that is like, has a curtain around it. Now I'm placing the changing table against it. This is not a window, this is a door. And in my head, it's not like safe to have a big door that leads to the outside on a top floor with a toddler in the bedroom. So this is why I decided to block it with this changing table. This changing table is uh, not functional, by the way, because we don't have changing tables in the game. This is why it's not functional. But this is why I decided to uh, block it with this table, because I know in The Sims that Sims don't fall off or or trip or anything, although <laughs> honestly for some chaotic gameplay, I would love to see them trip or fall off. But still, for that reason, um, just like for uh, realistic reasons, I didn't want to have a toddler sleeping in a room with a big door that leads to the outside, that's it. This is the teenage girl's bedroom. It is gray and purple, I know. I tried to warm it up a little bit with the yellow. Um, I like it. I don't think it's to everybody's taste, but I do kind of like it and I like how it turned out. So, yeah, I'm just cluttering up the closet. This is the closet I said that isn't playable. That's because you can't click on the clothes. That's it. In a bit, we're gonna be uh, moving on to the landing in the uh, on the second floor. So this is a two-story home that is big, that is large. So in my mind, if uh, they need to eat or they need to have a drink or something and they are staying in the top floor, it is kind of a long routing to go to the first floor, get a grab a drink of water and then come back up. This is why I decided to put a couple of counters and a mini fridge, the mini fridge that came with a spa day update, um, and a popcorn machine because in my mind there's the family living room upstairs so and this family also in my mind they spend a lot of time together and so they have movie nights and stuff and movie night is not the same without a tub of popcorn and that is why I placed the popcorn machine and the counters now the counters and the sink are not playable because they are closed off with wall dividers the reason why I put wall dividers there you're gonna see in a bit it's because I wanted it to be closed off but not completely closed off so again in my mind my mind is was just going all over the place in this build. Uh, in my mind, it's like they are sliding doors. Like if they want to use it, they open, they slide it open. Like here, I place it open, just they can only use the fridge and the popcorn machine. We are coming at the to the end of the video right now, guys. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, uh, thumbs up, comment, all those nice YouTube things. And I'll see you next time. Stay nerdy, stay happy. Bye, guys.